Hey guys, what did I do for one of my customers? You ain't gonna believe this. Stay tuned. Hey guys. So we're out here on this beautiful uh, Sunday afternoon in uh, northeast Alabama and of course anytime I turn the camera on everybody in the neighborhood drives down the road. Just part of it. Country living I guess. So anyway it's about 65 degrees here. It's a beautiful day. but. Today, I want to talk about something that I have learned from experience over the 30 some odd years me and Tammy's been married about being self-employed. So, as you guys know, I work for a, a really good company and they take care of me. I get a lot of loads. I'm home every night, home every weekend. I've got it. I've got it pretty good. I don't make the money you guys make, but I don't have to make the money you guys make. I don't have the overhead, don't have a big fine home. We, you know, we got this four acres, place is paid for. So I don't need a lot of money. So with that being said, I do have my business expense, but the company that I run for, they take care of me. In other words, I get a lot of loads that maybe some of the other drivers may not get. So, to show my appreciation for what they do, Monday through Friday, during business hours, I stay on call. They didn't ask me to do that, I just do that. So I try to stay within 30 minutes of my truck, or I have somebody that can run loads if I'm not gonna be here. So. If they call, I can go. There's been a time or two I've been on a load and they've called and they say, Hey, do you know anybody that can get a load? We know you're on a load. Do you know anybody that can get a load? I'll be like, hang on just a second. Give me a minute. And uh, I'll call them back and I'll call all my buddies depending on what kind of load it is. I have guys I can contract out to that haul pickup truck loads. Because a lot of times, some of the loads we get, you can haul on a pickup. Uh, like an oil, hydraulic oil tank or something like that, you know. So I have guys that will just run and get that. And uh, then I have friends that are set up like me that can go. And some of the guys in my pickup that run pickup for me had this set up as well. So, But anyway, I always try to say yes. Well... A couple of days ago, a few days ago, it turned off really nice weather like this right here. And we just come out of a cold snap. So, y'all know I like to fish and I've just bought me a, a crappie fishing boat set up and ready to go. And me and my cousin, we have a lot more time now so we try to fish more. Anyway, and I'll link his brand new YouTube channel in the description below. Especially if you like crappie fishing, you'll like watching Keith stuff. But anyway, so one evening, it was pretty weather like this. And uh, we wanted to go to a place to fish, but it was about 45 minutes to an hour away. And um, nah, maybe not that long, 30 to 45 minutes away. Typically, I don't usually leave. Uh real early if I'm going to do that. Usually I leave about four in the afternoon if I'm going fishing. But this day has been slow. I had done run some loads and I thought, you know, the odds of me running another load if you run the numbers is really low. So me and my cousin is talking about it. He said, let's go on. If they call and need a load, I don't have no problem. We'll come back. It don't matter if we're fishing, whatever. Well, y'all guess what happened? We drive the 45 minutes down there. We put in the water. We'd been fishing an hour, hour and a half maybe, 
we're we haven't even started catching fish yet we've caught a couple but really hadn't got on a good spot yet but it's beautiful weather the water's like glass and we're having a good time the company i haul for calls they said hey said uh if this works out can you run to a place down below birmingham and pick up a load for us i go to this place quite a bit and um uh, Without hesitation, I said, no, they first asked, the boy that called asked, he knew I liked fish. He said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm out wetting a hook. What else should I be doing with 70 degree weather on a, on a beautiful sunny day like this? Cutting up with them. They all know me and I know them, all the people that contact me. Anyway, so he said, what are you doing? I told him I was fishing. He said, do you want to run to Birmingham or you want me to see if I can find somebody else? Never, guys, if there's any way at all possible, never let them try to go find somebody else. That's just my experience in business. Now, I do know you have to separate family time and work time. I do know that. But it was still within the realm of what I had set out in my goal to be dedicated to them. Had it been 6 o'clock in the evening, I might have said, yeah, go ahead and get somebody else to run that. I probably wouldn't have said that, but I might would have said it. Because to me, a good paying load, and that's a good paying load for me, is as good as catching a mess of fish. Uh, and I know, you know, a lot of people say, well, you got your priorities wrong. Eh, yeah, that's debatable. But if I make good money, I get to buy nicer toys, you know. And it ain't every day that they call me while I'm out on the water fishing. But anyway, I told him about all that, and I said, hey, I'm ready. I'll go. Get, I said, it'll be an hour, hour and a half before I can get home. I'll head that way. He said, all right, well, let me make sure. He said, that's good with me. He said, let me just make sure for sure that we're going to need you to go. And so me and my cousin, we just keep fishing, you know, and uh, 20 minutes later, he called back. He said, hey, keep wetting those hooks. They don't need you. It didn't work out. It ain't going to work out. They don't need you. He said, but thanks for being willing to do that. You know, he said, I appreciate it. That's why we call you. We know you always say yes. And so my point is, if you want to make yourself valuable to a company, to some extent, you have to be a yes man. And I know that flies in the face of a lot of people. But being self-employed, if you're going to be successful, requires some extent of being a yes man. Now, do you got to say yes all the time? No. Do I? Pretty much all the time. The only time I've ever told the company I haul for no is if I was already on a load farm and they didn't know it and I couldn't possibly be at two places at one time, and I couldn't find somebody else to make the run. Because early on when I started with this company, I didn't have a bunch of these other guys that would help me do these runs. It was just me. Now I've got other, other contractors and hot shotters that can do that kind of stuff for me. And so I can sub it out to them, and I can keep saying yes. It's a big deal to get in with the company I'm with. They have big restrictions and stuff and i was blessed to have the access to get in and my the company me and my wife just sold had had been doing business with them for years and so i was blessed beyond all imagination to get the end that i got and uh, i appreciate that and i'm really appreciative but with that comes responsibility so if I want to always be their go-to guy, guess what? I always got to be willing to go to get it. So anyway, I just wanted to hop on here and uh, give you all my two cents on that. Hope you guys are enjoying the Hot Shot videos. We're growing a little bit. It helps me a lot if you like the videos. It helps me a lot if you subscribe and mash the solid black bell outside the subscribe button. It helps keep things rolling. It gets our videos out to more people. And uh, it just it helps sponsors 
uh, to recognize us and uh, see us and sponsors help us do more for you guys so and with that being said don't forget the my tea deal in the description below all the details are there all right guys i love you hope you guys had a great weekend uh i don't know when y'all see this video but i'm about a week out so usually by the time you guys see this it's a week or so old so uh i've scheduled videos way ahead so um but anyway, if there's something you'd like for me to talk about or if there's something you'd like to see in our videos, comment it below. Uh, that's the only way I know. So, we got some exciting things coming up. I hope in the next few weeks I can announce that. And it's all thanks to you guys. It's a, the hot shot inside of the channel is the side that's getting the most recognition. Uh, I'm going to keep fishing. I've been thinking today about maybe doing a fishing or a camping video every Sunday. Because I don't camp or fish as much as I hot shot. So might try to squeeze in some more. But uh, we're definitely going to keep you guys in the loop on the hot shot stuff. If something comes up y'all need to know about it, I'll get it to you. Alright guys, love you. You know what I always say, if you want to have a safe trip. You got to start out doing safe things. And with that... We inspect our trucks and our trailers. Thank you guys.